Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer tutorials for beginner. Siavash is here and in today's tutorial I'm going to talk about the extended access list. In previous videos you became familiar with the standard access list and see how it can help us to guide our IP traffic over our network. But one of the major problems with the standard access list is that we only got control over our source IP address. In other words, the standard access list only works based on the source address range. If you remember, we applied access list on R1 to block the traffic from the PC1 on this segment to access to our server segment on 192.168.1.0/24. Let's take a look on the R1. Go to the command line, enable the router and using the command show access list you in here just just for review standard IP access list 10 we deny the host 192.168.2.101 and we got the permit any to override the implicit deny all at the end of any access list remember any access list standard or extended got the implicit deny at the end of the line so Let's try the ping from the PC1 to recall what we done previously. Ping 192.168.1.10. This is a server one. We don't have any ping to this one. And also let's try the server two pinging 192.168.1.11. We unable to ping. And as you can see, we don't have any control over our uh, detail of IP traffic. Because when we apply the access list on R1, all the traffic from the PC1 is denied on both this segment. So let's cut this scenario and using the extended access list to have more control. Let's say we want to block any traffic from the 192.168.2 networks only can be able to access to the server 1 and unable to ping the server 2 and access to the server 2. So let's go to our router and start the configuration. First of all, going to global configuration mode and using the no access list 10. So do show access list. We don't have any access list at the moment on our router. So we are going to uh, create the uh, extended access list using the access list. Okay, question mark. Here we go. We got two range number. 1 to 99 belong to the standard access list and 100 to 199 is belong to IP extended access list. We choose 110 for example, use the question mark and again we got three options, deny, permit and remark for put any comments on our access list and this time we want to deny access to the server number 2, use the question mark and as you can see we got the bunch of the protocol list we can use in our extended access list so protocols like IP, TCP, UDP and the rest of the protocol we can use here so we are using the IP question mark so this time we want to go into block 192.168.2.0 and question mark again we have to use a wildcard mask 000 uh, 255. If you are not familiar with the wildcard mask, please go back in two previous video and you will learn about the wildcard mask. Use a question mark and this time we want to only deny a specific host 192.168.1.11. So now we are going to press enter and apply our access list. But before that, don't forget to put one rule to override the implicit deny at the end of the access list. So we are go going to access list 110. This time permit IP any to any. And here we go. This is a closer look to both of the access list line. Access list 110 deny IP 192.168.2.0 on 255.255.255.0 to the specific host which is server 2 and access is under 10 permit IP any to any. So 
let's go and apply the access list let's check what is this port is a gigabit zero slash zero so going to interface g zero slash zero and using the same command ip access list 110 and in okay here we go and press enter in other words when the traffic come from the 192.168.2.0 segment it will reach to this gigabit 0 slash 0 and examine against the access list 110 so let's use the control Z show access list and here we go we got two line we got some matches because the EIGRP is running behind the scenes and there are some packets belong to EIGRP is going between these two router R1 and R2 so let's test it previously we couldn't ping none of the server 1 and server 2 press enter from 192.168.1.11 still unable to ping but if we ping 192.168.1.10 we have to be able to ping the server 1 as you can see here we can ping easily the server 1 let's test with the PC2 ok desktop command prompt ping 192.168.1.10 easily we can ping and as we expected we have to unable to ping the 11 here we go and if we go back to the router and show access list we can see some traffic matches these are for deny statement and this is for the permit the statement on the router so this is the beauty of extended access list actually we got more control over the access list and the traffic so we open the browser 192.168.1.10 easily we can see the server 1 here let's try the server 2 and we have to get some request timeout yeah we don't have access to the server 2 so this is a very powerful tool you can use it in uh, over your network so let's say what's the protocol part in the IP access list actually so uh, let's say we want to block the access from this segment let's say only to ping and we have we want to see the web server over the server too how we can implement that things go back to the R1 just remember it's a very important which line you put your statement go to global configuration mode I put no IP access list 110 for example oops what's wrong here Mm hmm IP access list extend okay because I'm using the IP is going to name no access list 110 that's it is gone so now do show access list we don't have any this time we put more specific rule on top of the extended access list this is very important so we are going to access list 110 and this time let's say permit and this time we are using the TCP as our protocol because we want to allow the TCP port 80 for a web and this time also we applied for the same segment 192.168.2.0 wildcard mask of 00255 question mark so this asking what port we want to use but remember now we are setting up the source part of the extended access list it doesn't really matter which port is using and want to access to the web server on a server 2 so we just leave it and create the next part of the extended access list which is 192.168.1.11 okay let me put the host keyword here actually we can control this by the wildcard mask but Post 192.168.1.11 and this time we are using the question mark and using the equal keyword here because equal is match only packets on a given port number. You may have the something like a greater than port number or lower than port number, but the equal is good enough for us. Use the question mark again and let's see what option we got here we can mention a specific port number 
there are some well-known ports here let's say for example the www pop3 ftp and this time we just only want to allow the web traffic over the network so press enter so access list this is a full line let's take a close look on that access list 110 permit tcp 192.168.2 segment over here to the specific host which is the server 2 here on specific port number which is our web traffic and oh here you oh as you can see our EIGRP traffic is blocked so we're going to access list 110 okay deny IP from the 192.168 dot two dot zero 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 dot two five five as you can see here if I use a question mark because I choose the IP as a general I don't have any specific port for that if I choose the protocol then I can choose which port I want to use and going for the host 192.168.1.11 and that's it press enter and finally hello all because we want to the rest of the traffic is go through the router properly so access list 110 permit IP any any so here we go and we have to see the ERGRP adjacency table is come back new adjacency is created between R2 and R1 so show access list here we go Take a close look on that. We got the three line sequence on sequence 10, 20, and 30. And let's go back and do some tests. So go back to the PC1. Try to ping. Okay, we can ping 10, server 1. Let's try to ping 11. We unable to ping. But let's see what if we open the web browser and go to the 192.168.1. 1.11 server 2 here we go we can see the web server running on the server 2 but we are unable to ping that server it's a very beauty and is a power of the extended access list here we go 192.168.1.10 is accessible for sure 11 accessible also let's try with other PC on the same segment 11 unable to ping but the web server on server 2 is available here and as you can see let's go back to the R1 and check the status of access list so we got some matches here we got the request for the web 16 matches here happen and we got some deny because when we ping we got the deny and the rest of the protocol also denied because anything except the www will be catched by this sequence line of our access list and finally we got the permit IP any to any if we got other kind of traffic from any other segment of the router so also here is very important where do you apply the extended access list and it can be very powerful tools but be careful of the extended access list sometimes it can catch you if you are not use it properly so I hope this is informative for you. If you find this video useful, please subscribe on our channel and share it among your friends. And thank you very much. Merry Christmas and see you soon.